Today we're going to be reviewing another pair of barefoot shoes. This brand is called Lambs and they're from Boulder, Colorado. I don't usually say where they're from but it was in the logo so... Lems offer a wide variety of barefoot shoes from sneakers to low cuts to boots. I've just received my order of the Primal Zens and I ordered these primarily because they're the widest shoe that they offer. Which I think is a pretty cool feature because on the website you can see if the shoe is slim, wide or widest and if you follow this channel you know your boy has got wide feet. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing. They actually remind me of like an old school skater shoe. Got the cork insole, which I've seen on quite a few barefoot shoes, which is really comfortable. Looks like a real solid grip on the bottom and like breathable material on the front. Okay, so let's pop them on and get our first reaction to the shoes. Okay, I think I say this every single time. They do feel a little bit tight, but I really like the look of them. They even have lems on the laces, which is a pretty cool touch. Anyway, that's going to be it for the start. Let's... Uh, test these bad boys out for the next week and then I'll get back with my final review. So over the past week I've done some serious shoe testing and I'm finally ready to give my review on Lem's Primal Zen shoes. So as always we'll be scoring the shoe on comfort, looks and price, so let's start with comfort. Starting with comfort, these shoes initially felt pretty tight and with my experience with barefoot shoes that always seems to be the case for me, however these felt incredibly tight, so much so that on day 2 I was considering not wearing the shoes anymore, however on day 3 they seem to miraculously break in and mould to my feet and feel really comfortable now. However, they're not the comfiest shoe I've ever worn, maybe somewhere in the middle. I think this might be personal preference to me, the fact that they have quite a lot of tread on the sole. I'll explain more what I mean by doing a comparison to another barefoot shoe. So the Lem stack height is 11 millimeters, and then if you include the insole as well, that's another three millimeters, which makes the total stack height 14 millimeters. In comparison to my base barefoot shoes, which has a stack height of 4.5 millimeters, and they don't include an insole. So the Lem shoe stack height is almost three times that of a more minimal minimalist shoe like the base barefoot shoe and someone who wears predominantly minimalist barefoot shoes that's pretty noticeable however this isn't a bad thing like I said this is just personal preference they're still zero drop and have a wide toe box they give you all the benefits of a barefoot shoe however you don't quite have the feeling of connection to the ground that you do from a more minimalist barefoot shoe looks wise I don't think they're winning any style awards however they're not overly offensive either they're just somewhere in the middle for me they don't really look like barefoot shoes which is a bonus and the main thing I look for when buying barefoot shoes. There was another pair of Lem shoes that I actually prefer the look of called the Meza. However, they were also the narrowest shoe they have and I've got more chance of winning the lottery than stuffing my fat feet into the narrow shoes. Price-wise, £101.22. Apart from being a random set of numbers, I think it's a fair price point for a high quality barefoot shoe. You can definitely get cheaper shoes, but if you look at the base and the quality of the materials, I think these will last a long time, which kind of makes them better value for money. Overall, I'm going to give the Lem's Primal Zen 7 out of 10. It's a high quality shoe at a reasonable price. However, the reason they're not going to score any higher for me and it's personal preference, but they're not minimalist enough for me. In hindsight, I probably would have been better off getting the Lems Primal 2, which in their own words are perfect for minimalist lovers. As I said, star-wise, they're all right, but they're not Air Jordans. And if anyone can make a pair of barefoot Air Jordans, I think there's a massive market for it. Well, I'll definitely buy a couple of pairs anyway. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you in the next one.